it's like their middle school experience. So it's like, I have some kids, like they come from one particular school and there was no learning taking place. So they're predicted to like bomb my test mm -hmm. and they come in and make a four or five. Mm -hmm. And it's because basically the teacher wasn't teaching. Like, it's a teacher in, in your county that's notorious and they're over at one particular school. So anyway, then I've had kids they're predicted high, but they have smart syndrome, you know, like when you think you know everything, so you don't have to work. And yeah. they can tank. Like, you know, so it's like, I've had issues with, like, EVOX projections being a, an indicator. And right. just like you, you just had the same situation, right. like, right. a 1% chance right. that so you pass the test. Exactly. And so, so. you know, they, they really push for us to use EVOS, and, and I do recommend for teachers to, to use EVOS, but it's just like my second block Hopefully, you know, and you analyze what I did there, my second blog is, is clear that you should not just rely on what's on EVOS. That you should definitely use it as a tool, but you can't just say, oh, okay, well, this kid's gonna fail, so I'm not even gonna try, because how many kids did I have projected to fail that passed? Um, EVOS, really, at this point, like, it's really for you. Because it's like, it's, but it's almost like, well, you know, it's, it's standard six. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So it's like you have to be you have to be fluent in it, but really it's to calculate. And see, for me, it's, it's totally different because I have everything in there, but you calculate your growth out of it. Like that's, so that's how right. I use it. And we're, NC finals, we're not able to do that. Right. So it's kind of so like, that's, I don't even have to do that. that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. But if I allow and you know in terms of the teaching and learning if I allow for EVOS to dictate my outcome last semester then I only should have had two kids pass the final and um, as of the scores that have come back already for two of my classes I have had um, 13 passed in second block and 18 passed in third block. Um, in second block, 13 failed. And in third block, four failed. So I'm still trying to figure out um, what are the discrepancies and what can we do about that. I don't just want to ignore EVOS. I think it's a very powerful tool. Um, but Again, I think that highly effective teacher piece that Redfern was talking about is really valuable. And when you're when you're part of a team that supports you and helps you do strategies and, and helps you bring tools into the classroom, I think those are the results you're gonna get. I wish I had better results, I'm not gonna lie. I've cried about those scores and tomorrow I'll probably cry again when I get the third set. But I think going forward, you know, what can we do immediately in our classes? to support each other, to grow our school, to grow our students, and then for the other teachers in the school to see, oh, this is how I'm supposed to be working. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's important. Particularly in, 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 in places in the school where like, you know, common assessments can be done, like it needs to be done, it's, it's a best practice. And it's just like, I don't know, I don't know why the school got away from Here's another example. It's similar to what Renfrew uses. Um, it, it doesn't have to be this, this pretty or anything, but tracking students by standard. Um, and I think we could move to that, even if it takes us a little bit of time. But if we get it done this semester, then it's already done. And then think about it. It's already done for biology. So in the event that next year they tell one of us, oh, you're also going to teach biology. or you know, you're also going to teach physical, or you're also going to teach earth, or you know, in any given case, then it's already done, right? They tell you anything about performance matters. Like, are they going to have that for for everybody? Like, or I can't, I can't remember what they said. But what's, what's nice about performance matters? Mm -hmm. Like it's, yeah, yeah, it's all done. So it's like, but I've only heard that it's there for biology. I haven't heard that I haven't it's heard, there okay. for physical. I'm not I haven't heard that it's there for earth. No. Cause I, we only reason it's there for me because I had to take the the interim in. Like we literally, the kids have to log into the. Yeah. But that that system, I want to say, all of us have to get trained on it. So it, eventually, it has to be for everybody. And what's nice about it is that it literally, like, if you make your test in form matter, uh -huh. it'll just aggregate all the data, and it'll yeah. give you this type of spreadsheet. So you can easily say, okay, on standards, whatever, whatever, point, whatever. Right. 
boom or not or not. <laughs> so, that's nice. Yeah, that's a good question to ask. Um, Performance for. Because right. really, it made my 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 tracker obsolete. Like we yeah. can we can look at it together, but like it literally, you click on a kid's name and it, it pops up. What are they blue in? What standard? What are they red in? What are they green in? What are they yellow? In? And so then it's just like, oh shoot, okay. Right. Then you can make a data you. calendar or test, you know, like a right. remediation calendar. Right. So it's impressive. And that training's supposed to come. What did they say? And I don't know. They, you know, we're not EOC, so they leave us out of all of them. See, but no, no, seriously, no. it's supposed to come. Okay. Well, that's that's what I have for you guys today. Cool. Mission, vision. We we'll come back next week. We start looking at our scores. How do we most immediately improve our instruction next week? What are what are you guys' plans? Are you are you planning on reviewing that week, or what are you planning on doing? When we what now? When we start classes next week. Oh, there's new kids. I'm not yeah. doing that. So we, but do we, as I said, what do we have to do? We have to do the patty cake for the first week, you know. No, they haven't said. Oh, they have to do the patty cake. I don't think we have to hold hands in Kumbaya. Oh, okay. So we get into it. Well, my first, um, you know, do a pre assessment. And then after that, yeah. we get it going. Yeah. So I did a pre assessment this semester too. Um, but that didn't really inform my instruction mm -hmm. because. Yeah, they, they didn't take it seriously. Mine did the other one. Yeah. Um, but we're locked in the standards too. I kind of like I do it because I was taught to do it. Mm -hmm. But when it's really like, to be honest, like mm -hmm. I still have to follow the pacing guide. Mm -hmm. I still have to teach all the standards. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, I never understood that part. Maybe you can give us, I don't know. Like I, I understand the theory, but it's kind of like in practice. Pre assessment? Yeah, I understand that in theory, but it's kind of like. And you want to know what they know. But, you know what I'm saying? It's but like, if they don't take it seriously, then how are you going to know what they know? Or because you still have to teach the standard because you're locked into a patient guide. Right. And it's, you know what I'm saying? I It'll just, just help you identify the kids that already know it and then put a plan in for them. You know, provide enrichment for them. Is, uh, um, yeah. And then that <laughs> talks, you know, yeah. that's differentiation. So then we're, we're in another, yeah. another ballpark there. But um, no, I gave the pre assessment and. The data was inconclusive, so even if I had some high flyers, I wouldn't know because they didn't take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And then they asked me, is this a grade? So then you don't want to make a pre-assessment punitive. Right, so that's not there either. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah you tell them it's a grade. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, we could try that and see how they do. Um, but you know, one of the things that I went into detail on physical was at the first week or so was scientific method, and that didn't matter. And I then after scientific method and inquiry, I mean, I went into conversions and the metric system. I mean, that took up at least three weeks altogether, and for nothing, for so absolutely nothing. Like reflecting now, like. What do you think you'll do different going forward with that? Like, do you feel like, is that something, I don't know, I don't remember your standards. I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do that. I used to do that when I first got here for physics and chemistry, and I don't really see the use in it. I just have to kind of integrate it throughout. Mm -hmm. Integrate it, yeah. I tried it because when I first had physical, you know how I was just kind of dropped on the tip, mm -hmm. um, we tried to jump right into, what was the first year motion or something like that? Mm -hmm. And you know, some of the equations or word problems, yeah. they could not solve them. And it wasn't a more of a content issue, it was more of a mathematical thing where they right. didn't know. So that's why I said, okay, we had to reverse. And we yeah. spent about a week on it. That was the only reason for it, because I tried to keep going with the word problems and the critical mm -hmm. thinking problems, and they could not go from a word because problem. Because a lot of it is algebra. Right, right. So, and it would just be simple things, like they didn't know how to write something into such and such power, or they didn't know how to divide the fractions. And that's why I did it that way. Mm -hmm. Because it was like, okay, we gotta go back. And some of you are like, oh, you only have three, you can't. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we had to, yeah, that's the only reason why I had one that. Yeah, a lot of physical, <laughs> I'd say 70%, and that's conservative, is math. Mm -hmm. And what I've asked for is to have a math teacher um, that's on their planning to come in and co-teach with me. Uh, 
just a, a quick lesson, maybe 25 oh, minutes. As soon as they um, see the math, it's just, they shut down. I don't mind it. They're like, on this day, all we it's focus so on is the, the skills, the, the outside skills that you have to have to be successful. Like, yeah, like and I that might be something. Like in the beginning, I'll spend a day on the basics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. that, but I'm not spending a lot of time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That might be something to think about, though. Yeah, I like that idea of uh, bringing a math teacher in. That makes sense to me. Or they can do some of the full outs. Or that's right. Or, that's uh, I've been pushing right for, for cold teaching for a while. Let's see if it happens. Um, is anybody getting an inclusion? Uh, of course, Mr. J, is he coming? To the Mr. J, yeah, I'm going to have Mr. J for second block. But Mr. J, um, he's, he's helpful, but he doesn't know. That comes to Trump. He was yeah. trained. Oh, okay. <laughs> he needs to come help yeah, his uh, degree is in biology. I didn't know that. He needs to do some pull out. We should do yeah. biology. Yeah. Maybe we can also refocus how to use him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because of mine, it would. Refocus how to yeah. use him. I but think like, would be ideal. Some parts in a small setting. Yeah. Right. What's right for him? Because like, he was, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um. Yeah, that's really good. Because when he told me that, I found out how to go with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I it. So one of the things that Neptune and I um, talked about briefly yesterday was using Mr. J during our second block um, in her room and then her coming in here with me to co-teach. During second block? Yeah. Fourth. Fourth. We have fourth block planning. Fourth. Oh, fourth block planning. Yeah, what about you? She's third. third. Oh, third. my gosh. Because that's what, that's what it was. So when I was in Finnell Smith, the reason we could do it for an hour is we all had the same planning. So for an hour, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I, was I don't know why I was thinking it was before school. I'm going to say it in my mind. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. But, but since, wait a minute. Everybody's, what does everybody mean? Fourth block. And and first, and first, fourth, and she first. has first. And, well, you know, they'll, they'll give us coverage. They'll give us coverage. Whatever we push for, they'll give us coverage. Okay. All right, I'm going to email this PowerPoint to you guys in case you want to glance over it. Um, look through the resources I've provided for you in your binder. As I print and send you guys things, um, please feel free to add them to your binder. And thank you guys for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.